Would $140,000 a year make you happy? How about $124,000 a year? Well, depending on where you live, it should. Purdue University researchers found that $105,000 is the ideal annual income in North America. The website Go Banking Rates adjusted that for the cost of living in each state and came up with $140,000 for New York State and $124,000 for New Jersey. Where do you need the highest income to be happy? Hawaii, $195,000. The ideal income in Connecticut is $133,000 and it's $106,000 in Pennsylvania. Want to be happy for the lowest income? Well, you got to move to Mississippi where you'll need only $88,000 a year. Let's bring in our A-plus panel for tonight's show. Jeanette Hoffman, Republican strategist, and Bill Caruso, Democratic strategist. Jeanette, I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Here's what occurs to me in this whole thing. You're looking at these really big numbers. The average person yeah. at home is saying, 140,000, that's what I need to be happy? In New York, the, per, the household income, median household income, $80,000 in 2017. In New Jersey, now this goes back to 2012, right. 87000 Not even close. Is no one yeah. happy? Yeah, I don't know about that, Bill. I think that it's just because New York and New Jersey, you have some really expensive areas and some really inexpensive areas. So if you live in New York City, I think you would need an income of Hawaii, say $195,000 per household to be happy. But I think this study leaves a lot of factors out. I think if you have kids, that you need a lot more money than if you don't have kids to be happy and to be satisfied. That's a great point. A lot of flaws in the, the uh, study for sure. But uh, is this a problem, Bill? We're tying, or at least they are tying, happiness to money. Yeah, to some extent. I mean, and, and listen, some people do equate happiness with money. Others don't. I, I think where you are it dictates a lot of whether you're going to be happy. For example, I, with any amount of money, I'm not going to be happy in Mississippi. Sorry, Mississippi. <laughs> but uh, no, I, it. Think it, I think it matters where you are. I mean, I, I think the difference of living in North Jersey and South Jer Jersey, yeah. the same state, the, are profound in terms of cost yeah. and happiness. Yeah. But it's telling that this is the income. It's not this as a minimum. They're saying that below that, you have a certain number of problems. And higher than that, you have a certain number yeah, of problems, Yeah, it's kind of the right? sweet spot, right? I right. mean, a, a lack of money can cause a lot of stresses if you're not meeting your basic needs. And then if there's too much money, you have a different number of stresses for different problems and, and different expectations. Or does this really speak to a bigger problem? The cost of living in New York and New Jersey is just too high. It is, but there also is a question of what do we really need? And, you know, there's, a, there's a, a, a broad question. How many children do you have? How much do you have to provide for your children? The cost of higher education afterwards. There are a lot of added costs that we have to account for. And, you know, some of these are discretionary. Some of these aren't. You know how much you need? Enough. Enough. Absolutely. Thanks,